Hey guys, this is Drew with Gucci Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Just got the Broken Arrow. Casey, just show off the room a little bit. Other than, you can't show off that side. We have pew pews. But, we're here, man. We're here at Broken Arrow. Ready to have a good weekend. Ready to buy some nice coins. Interview some awesome dealers. Uh, maybe meet a few people that come and watch our channel. Uh, we're so thankful that we made it here. We're so thankful that we're able to stay in such an awesome room. Uh, just based on y'all's generosity. But, Let's get this video started. Um, you guys will enjoy it. We are here with Todd Howerhan at the Broken Arrow Coin Show. Mr. Todd, can you tell us about this coin show and you facilitating it with Chris? Yes, so uh, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, here at the Stony Creek Hotel. It's right across from uh, the world famous Bass Pro Shop on Albany Street. Uh, this is our second year doing the show uh, in March, uh, roughly uh, 60 dealers. Great venue, uh, just outside of Tulsa, about 12 miles uh, outside of Tulsa on the Broken Arrow Expressway. Uh, numbers today, roughly 100 people came through, but our big push is on Saturday. Uh, what we did also is open it up to all the Boy Scouts, Eagle Scouts, and Girl Scouts. We had a couple come in today, and uh, part of our jobs as dealers in the community is educating the, the young people because, once again, coin collecting population is getting older and older. We need to get more youth in here and people to enjoy the history of the coin. So if you have a chance, come on down to uh, Stony Creek for the Broken Arrow Coin Show. So if people were wanting to come down and buy or sell their collection, is this place safe? Can they trust this environment? It's a very safe place. We have armed security and it's good, friendly uh, dealers. They're, they're, uh, they'll give you some good, fair prices, but the, the area here in Broken Arrow is a very safe, very safe place. You got a lot of eateries right next door, but uh, security's here. It's a very safe, family friendly environment. Hey guys, so we ended up buying a table just for everything, uh, just in case we. Uh, you know, had someone to sit down and talk to. We talked to a few people today, and it was a good time. Uh, show's wrapping up here, as you can see. Uh, let me show you guys. There's uh, a few things going on still, but well, everything's wrapped up. Let me flip this camera around, show you guys a few things. And we'll actually go into a deep dive later this episode, but wanted to show you guys a few coins real quick. You can see we've been pretty busy today. Bought a few cat coins for Trent. Uh, just kind of an example of what we bought. Bought uh, 1807 Great Bust Hat. Uh, a few more cat coins for Trent here. Uh, just a lot of pretty cool coins. I'm gonna show you guys a few more here at uh, the hotel, but yeah, great turnout. If you guys ever want to go to Broken Arrow, uh, the coin show, you guys will have a good time. You have Todd and Chris running the show, uh, and they always have really good dealers come out, and you're able to buy a lot of fresh and nice coins. So. Uh, just understand that from the get-go make your trip out. We drove about nine hours to get here But definitely like I said is worth it Hey guys, so I'm sitting in the car here and a kind of interesting thing came to my mind uh, you know when I actually buy a coin and uh, When I get it in I, I try to offer it to all my customers and my clients and sometimes I think that's just a big problem sometimes I think that there's so much more opportunity in giving someone else a shout out, even if you're going to make a profit on the coin. Um, and the reason why it's a good thing to give them a shout out is because sometimes you're not going to have what your client's looking for. And, and it'll be easier when you shout somebody out to be able to call on them or even give your client their information to talk to them about coins because... I don't know, I think at the end of the day, you want your clients to be happy, you want them to enjoy the hobby, and we have, all of us have so much to give, but. And I add, wanted to add one more thing, which is kind of on the side of working with dealers. I mean, there's so many people um, that are older, and you know, they're gonna be leaving the hobby soon, and there's a lot of young people that are coming in, 
And so just giving, not only paying for a coin and buying a coin, but also giving someone an opportunity, like posting, you know, their ad on Instagram, they're shutting out their YouTube. Even like I said, giving, uh, giving a different coin dealer your client's information for a coin, all those things really will not only grow your, you know, your professionalism and your, uh, you know, your thoughtfulness with the dealer, but also will do that um, with your client as well. I've learned so much from Instagram um, and people on there, and I've learned so much from people at coin shows. And I think that the more we share each other's information and work with each other, the better this community will be, and we'll be able to grow a lot more. But I'm done talking. Alrighty, just made it back to the hotel. Got some awesome coins to show you guys. Like I said. Uh, the place will be really exciting to show you, um, but let's crack these open right now and uh, let, you, let you see. So starting up no, as number one here, we have a nice little Booker, um, you know, Booker G. Washington. I like to buy these just because they're blast white and the eye appeal is there. I think this one's a really strong example of a 66 and, uh, you know, pretty neat piece. So number two here, we have a really original 1858-0. Um, half as you can see just super original hard to, for me to pick up but it's 1858 which is a little bit of a tougher day here but very very nice coin and sorry guys for not using normal light um, at the hotel right now but we still wanted to take you guys along give you guys a perspective of right after coin shows what it looks like uh, starting with a later date 30 here 1939 uh, great MS65 nice little walker for sure for all my Walker fans out there, had to pay a little bit for that one, but it was still worth it. Here is um, a Bay Bridge, or I'm sorry, Bridgeport. We ended up buying this one because just look at the, you know, look at the nice luster on the coin, very strong. Um, I do, I just do like coins like this. Um, you know, it's, it may have been dipped, I'm not too sure, but luster is still pretty phenomenal on the piece, and uh, you know, it's really great part of the inventory for sure. Uh, buying a few cat coins to show as well. Early date Walker here, 1918 Denver, really tough date. This one's an XF45, and uh, it does have a CAC sticker. No distracting marks on the coin. He did give it that CAC approval. It is a B coin, uh, not an A coin, but still a pretty phenomenal piece. Let me grab this next one out for you guys. We've been, you guys have been asking a lot about three cent silvers. This is a 1853 three cent silver. Um, you know, AU coin has some interesting kind of die clashes. As you can see, the three cent design on the obverse is shooting through on the on the reverse here. Let me flip it over so you can see that kind of kind of peeking through there, which I really do enjoy. Um, someone actually uh, let me know today. His name is Colson. He's a pretty cool guy on Instagram. We talked with him and his grandfather for a little bit, so definitely a good time for that. But let me grab this next coin out of here. I'll skip on that one for now. This is a 1902 Morgan Dollar, rated MS64. The reason why I picked this one up is because it has that really nice looking rainbow there. You know, you, when you buy a better date uh, dollar, just like a 1902, you kind of want to buy something that, you know, just has that intricacy to it. It's got a kind of a crescent on both sides, and David, uh, hope, David really helped us out today with that coin. He's actually leading the Tyler Show here in a few months. We're going to be making a video uh, helping him out and trying to sponsor it, and... Uh, we really hope you guys enjoy that video when it comes out. Let me pull a few more out here. This is a 1938 Denver um, Walking Liberty Half. Uh, better date for the series, XF. Kind of the grade that you want to be looking for if you're starting out. But MS examples are the really ones that you want to buy uh, long term, but that's a little bit harder sometimes with the whole series. Uh, nice, another commemorative here. Cleveland, MS64 Plus. Uh, a little bit of an older uh, holder, but very strong eye appeal. All these coins are going to have kind of the same mantra for sure. Up next is just a kind of common date, 1879 uh, Indian head scent. Nothing too crazy about this coin, but it is a whole filler if you're trying to find, you know, just a pretty affordable set of Indians. Um, here's one of my favorite pickups of the day. Never actually purchased this one before. This is an 1851-0 New Orleans, uh, you know, uh, three cent silver. Reason why I bought this one, not because of like what it looked like really, but because if you look, take a look at the O-Mint on the reverse here, um, you're really going to be able to see that just really interesting where they placed the mint mark to the right of the C there. And uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool. 
I wanted to buy the Mid-State one today, but it was way too expensive, uh, way over retail. It was CAC approved, MS64, great IPL, everything that you want, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Here is a 1917 Walking Liberty half. Uh, I bought this one because it is blast white, it is an early date, Mid-State 64, all the bells and whistles for uh, you know a really phenomenal early date walker like this one, and so couldn't pass this one up. Uh, pretty happy about that one. Here's a, a coin that we actually, I don't think we ever really bought in one that's been holder before. This is a Drape Bust half dollar. Try not to lose all these here, but it's going to happen anyway. Uh, there it is. This is an 1807 Drape Bust half. Really nice and original coin, as you can see. Has a little peripheral toning on it, but man, someone took care of this coin very well. And uh, just very honored to be able to hold a piece of history like this, especially just how early of the date it is. And the design is busy. But it's super cool. I really do like it. Uh, very phenomenal piece. Very thankful for that. What next do we have here? Uh, another Booker T. Washington. This one's CAC approved. Same kind of story. Blast white. Nice luster. Uh, can't go wrong with that for sure. And uh, yeah, very fortunate with that coin. Got a few rattlers here. Got to show you in just a moment. But first, let me show you one more uh, OGH holder here. This is a 1920 Pilgrim. Uh, great MS63 by PCGS, very strong uh, luster, nothing like I said that distracts you from the coin really, no dots, and uh, yeah, I really do like it. I think that there's so many nice commemoratives out there right now, but you got to cherry pick the ones that you really uh, enjoy and that really jump out at you, and that one really did it for me. And so uh, here's a few rattlers for you guys to take a look at. Also, there's a 1902 uh, uh, Morgan Dollar and uh, 19020 actually and it's great MS64 by PCGS not enough luster really to carry it over to a gold cack if you needed it but still a nice piece very happy with it I uh, got it for a decent price and uh, just those right now are pretty hard to find uh, up next we have a 1937 walking I'm sorry Buffalo Nickel great MS65 by uh, PCGS another rattler holder here um, just a lot of these are really nice to find, especially in older holders, and you know, just the good-looking coins overall. Here's an, uh, a toned Morgan Dollar found in MS65 uh, Rattler. You can see just kind of this blue and orange toning, almost like envelope toning, on the obverse here. Not very many marks on the coin. I do think this one is probably CAC. Um, but look, nice blue uh, reverse here. I thought it was just pretty interesting. Wanted to, uh, you know, offer it to you guys. I've been trying to collect these from my collection. You're going to see a little bit of that soon. But this one definitely uh, does have a, some appeal to it. And I'm very fortunate enough to pick that up. Uh, last one here um, is this 1902, which is a little bit over tougher date, as we talked about earlier. Morgan Dollar Grade MS63 C Cact. Um, it does kind of have some greenish toning on the peripheral edge here. But... Still a nice looking dollar, probably a 64 today, and uh, very, very cool dollar right there. But show off a few more coins here, talking about the World Trade Center, uh, you know, Silver Eagle. I bought this one today and already have it sold to one of the guys that likes to buy World Trade Center coins, Matt Laposa. If you guys ever need to sell one to him, that's what you should do. But very uh, interesting part of our history um, and very lucky to be able to hold that. We're going to skip to this one at the end. This one is a really nice three cent silver in there. You guys are going to, it's going to make you very happy to see it. But bought a few old type coins here today. We, we bought 1853 uh, VF20 arrows and rays um, CD quarter. I mean, a lot of originality to the coin. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, we actually bought a gold piece today, which is pretty interesting. This is a 1906 uh, D five dollar gold. Lib, and uh, I thought it had enough eye appeal, and I really wanted to try something out. Been putting my feet in the water on gold and trying to understand it as a dealer, and that's kind of where I am with that currently. I'm trying to buy, you know, a little bit better of a mint there for sure. Bought a few uh, Lincoln cents. I'm going to show these all off at the same time, maybe. The first of the bunch here is a 1914 Denver in fine 12. And a 1909 SVDB in VF20. Had to pay strong for these, but that's just the way it goes. 
We also got one from the same kind of lot. This is an XF40 uh, uh, Flying Eagle. Uh, I need to wipe these holders down when I get home. I just didn't have anything to do that here, but still pretty interesting coin. If you guys are wanting to take a look at some better photos, we have those on the website, AcousiaCollectibles.com. Uh, look at this coin, 1914 Denver, VF25, a little bit better of condition. Different look to it as well, which I kind of uh, enjoyed, but hard to get hard to get the, the, nice, uh, f the nice video for you guys, and I'm sorry about that. Normally I have a better video uh, lighting setup, but we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. Uh, this is a Connecticut uh, commemorative half dollar. If, this one is also in a rattler holder. Like the design a lot. Like the bird on the reverse here. Pretty big eagle. If, if I do the same as so myself. Bought a few Mercury dimes today. This one is one of them here. 1940S. Great MS65 by PCGS. Little OGH holder. I uh, have a really awesome client that likes to pick these up when he can. So make a few dollars here and there. And I'm very happy to help him with that. We also have a few walkers today and another seated dime here. This is a seated uh, 1842-0 seated dime. A little bit tougher of a coin to get. Um, and so uh, when we purchase this coin, it does look really nice and really original. And it really does have a small O. I'm not sure if that's a variety. Uh, maybe very small O, but I'll have to take a look and look at it because, I don't know, still a lot to learn with me and seated stuff. But here is a 1946 Denver. Um, Walking Liberty half sitting in a nice fatty holder here and uh, yeah I mean just your average run of the mill dollar or half dollar but still pretty cool I'm very happy about that one We've got more seated stuff here as well 1857-0 uh, seated dime been buying a lot of the omen dimes as of late just because I don't know I think they're a little bit tougher to find and I want to have a really nice arrangement on our website just for you guys to check out if you guys want to buy some stuff you know for your typeset and those are pretty neat to check out another omint uh, seated seated uh, seated coin here this is a 1853 o seated half with the arrows and rays do love the rays so much and the o on top of that that's just i mean i don't know i just think it's a really intricate design very busy like many of the coins are but I don't know, I really want to buy a nice one one day, and very. I'm looking forward to that if possible. Uh, I got another commemorative here to uh, take a look at. This is a 19, uh, I think 36 S Bay Bridge, a uh, great MS64 by PCGS. Uh, the reason why I bought this one is because it's an OGH holder, and uh, yeah, just got some strong luster on the coin. Very nice. Another coin that I really loved about today, this one is. An 1805 uh, a Drape Us Quarter, just very original, strong coin. Um, probably one of my favorite pickups of the day. I didn't see this the first time going through, but the second time was a blessing to see this. And uh, definitely adding a lot of Drape Bus stuff to the to the set. Um, I'm sorry, to the website for you guys to take a look at. Uh, another interesting kind of Mercury dime. Really do love the toning on it. Uh, it is a Micro S 1945. And, uh, yeah, I do like just the characteristics of it and the older holder. You guys just know I love older holders. And uh, this one really does just have that uniqueness to it. Kind of hard to see when you're in that holder, but very, very cool. We did get a few coins from, uh, from the mail this weekend. I'm going to show you guys those right now and uh, just give you guys a perspective on the really awesome coins we've been getting in. All right, so these, this is the coin we just got in, and this is the coin that we just got in. Let's start off with this one, 1884 uh, Morgan Dollar, graded MS63 CAC, uh, PCGS graded this one, old holder. We're gonna be adding this one to the collection. Just very nice, obverse toning, don't see that too often. And uh, you can't just, you can't pass up coins like that with that much beauty. Here is a 1938 Denver, a uh, Buffalo Nickel. Created MS66 by NGC, gold CAC sticker. I do think this one might have a shot at eight. Very happy with what it looks like. Um, we had someone on Instagram reach out to us, watched our video sometimes. Brock Mitchell, thank you for that coin. Uh, really excited to see what's gonna happen with it. Here are a few coins that we got for Trent today. Very happy we could help him out, add to his collection. One I'm gonna show you real quick is this 1895 O Barber Dime. Just cool original and is CAC approved. 
I uh, really do love that coin. But the last coin of the video we want to show you is this magnificent 1866 three cent silver. It is a proof, graded proof, 64 plus cameo by PCGS. The reason why I bought this coin is because of this reason. Look at that. I mean, I like the I like the toning on it a lot. I think it's the only 64 plus cameo uh, 1866 three cent silver. So, uh, but just look. I mean, that color is really phenomenal. Very stoked about this coin. Um, you know, stuff like this really just jumps out at me. It makes me very happy. Um, to be able to buy stuff like this, but very cool piece. Um, thank you though, guys, for watching my video today. Um, actually, our video today. We got a lot of coins in. Like I said, if you guys want to check out our website at kushacollectibles.com, got a few things for you to show you guys. But uh, let's roll to the outro. Did you guys enjoy today's video? If you did, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about the coins we showed off in this video? Uh, and subscribe if you're new. More coin videos coming out next week. And we have a Freedom Coin Show podcast you guys should go subscribe to. We're going to be coming out with episode one very shortly, and you guys will enjoy it. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video.